COVID-19 trends in Virginia are showing some promise. There are signs that the spread of Omicron may have peaked. Dan Kennedy explains. Well, hospitalizations starting this week on a downward trend. This is this is really great to see. We haven't seen a downward trend since late October, but it's happening now. And we've seen this for several days now, so we can call it a trend at this point. Uh, 3,812 people hospitalized with the virus. Again, keeping it all in perspective, it's still the most we've seen throughout this entire pandemic, but we're about 85 or so fewer patients than the peak last week, which was uh, back on January 12th. When it comes to new cases, perhaps things leveling out. It certainly appears that way in the two week moving average. Now on Mondays, like we see today, typically a lower reporting date, uh, and that's what we're seeing now with about 10,000 new infections yesterday, close to double that. So so we're going to keep a close eye on where things stand when we take a look at this tomorrow. When it comes to the positivity rate, this is also dropping. This is also good to see. 34% of tests coming back positive statewide. Every Hampton Roads Health District is above that, but check out Western Tidewater with like Suffolk, Isle of Wight, some of those cities now at 35% closer to the statewide average. Chesapeake's bumped up to uh, the most in Hampton Roads tied with Norfolk with 45% of tests coming back positive. So let's check out Chesapeake still rising in that two week moving average. But then you look at a city like Portsmouth, which is finally leveling out. Portsmouth had uh, had the highest positivity rate in all of Hampton Roads last week. Uh, not the case anymore. Keep an eye on this throughout the week for you. Stay safe out there. Dane Kennedy, 13 News Now.